Hello people of the earth and welcome back to Quick Safe TV. My name is Mike and today I'm going to demonstrate you in the short guide how can you, you know, how can you liquidate some of the problems that you might have in Dragon Age Inquisition multiplayer when you're trying to connect to other people. This video is specifically dedicated for PC users, so if you're on another platform, I will probably not be able to help you. So what is ending up happening for many users when you're trying to go to quick match and trying to find for a game, you're going to find the issues and connections, you're going to get disconnected, even despite the fact that you're going to find the server, right? You're just not going to be able to connect to it. And when you create the match, people will not be able to join you, right? And it's also a big problem. There's a couple of things we're going to cover in this video. We're going to open your ports, we're going to customize some of the settings within the game in order to liquidate this issue, right? And uh, give you a couple of advices as well on how you can further, you know, solidify your experience. So let's start by saying that in Quick Match, a lot of people are having problem when you're trying to search the game at random, right? I had the same problem as well. So if after everything that we've done in order to, you know, in order to fix the problem, you still have issues, try to search for specific maps as opposed to random right it's going to help your search engine within the game to find servers for you without a big problem and by servers i mean other guys of course in create a match you will see the differences right away right if everything is working you will see consistently more people trying to join you and consistently less people trying just being disconnected from your game and when you create a server on your own and play alone you will also not disconnect from server as frequently okay we're done in the game let's get out and i'll show you some other things Okay, there's some other thing I can show you here. Right now I'm having this article open right here. This article is pretty damn good, right? This article describes what kind of ports you need to open for your Inquisition to work properly. Let me F11 this. Okay, fantastic. In order to open your ports, you'll need to go to your uh, control panel in Windows 7, right? Because I'm using Windows 7. I assume you use Windows 7 or 8. This is the guide you're going to have to use. I'm going to throw both of these links, okay, to you so that you can use them easily. But let me just go ahead and demonstrate to you what I've done and how you can do it yourself. You go to control panel, then you write down firewall in your search. You open Windows firewall, then you go to advanced settings, right? And you start, uh, you go to, I think, inbound rules. I'm pretty sure, sorry, outbound rules, okay? Do I see it here? I think it was inbound. Yeah, it was inbound rules. I'm sorry, guys, for confusion. It's a little bit hard for me. Okay, so um, you go to this place and you start creating new rules, okay? And your new rules will be ports, okay? You're creating ports and you're going to have to create all the TCPs and then all the UDPs, right? And in order to do that, you basically just you basically just utilize the stuff that you have here, right? You utilize this guide and then you utilize these numbers for ports. You'll need to ban... I'm sorry, unlock 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for TCP, and 1, 2, 3, 4 of the UDP ports for the PC. Once you unlock all of these sweet pieces, right, what's going to end up happening is you will easily connect to any game and you will be able to host to a lot more people, which is really, really cool. What I've done also here for simplicity, I've also named them appropriately regarding, you know, regarding what kind of name do they have, etc., etc., you know, this kind of thing. So in order to have all of these things working, you'll need to start writing here, uh, specific local ports, say 80, okay, and you go next, you select allow the connection. You select on which the uh, you know on which uh, the you know on which typology of the internet connection is gonna work. I just skip it uh, and just name it like you know stuff or testing, and you describe it. Oh, this one was written when I was completely drunk. I'm not even sure what it does, but I think. It helps me game. And this is exactly how you do it, right? So once you're done, you finish, and you do all of them exactly the same fashion, except for these two. These two, I don't know why they're here. And you're good, right? And you're fantastic. You're going to be in fantastic shape. This is how you do it. Um, and one last thing I forgot to show you in the game, and I'm bored to get back into the game because it's going to take forever. There's one thing about collecting the information. There's a fantastic piece of article here that tells me, that, that basically told me an idea. If you disable somewhere, if you disable somewhere, the rigging of the data statistics in a game, you can customize it in your settings, you will be able to have less issues. I'm going to throw this article for good measure as well. But the point is that if you don't allow the game to gather the statistics of your plane, okay, to share it with the server of EA, you're also going to have consistently less issues, right? So 
all of these three things, right? Uh, unlock your ports, uh, prevent the game from gathering data from your computer, and the third and the last piece, right? Uh, if none of this helps, try to search for specific maps as you're hosting, but it should help, right? It helped to me, it helped to a lot of other people. So I wish you luck. If you have any questions, post in comments. I'll try to help you out, uh, and have a great day. Bye-bye.